Okay, so today what this video is going to show you is how you can retrieve the source code of an APK file, so an Android application file. And unlike most of the other guides, this is going to show you how you can actually get the Java code back, and so the classes and everything like that, whereas others just get you the XML and the resources and stuff like that. And this is useful for people who've lost their source code, but they've like compiled a previous APK or something you know, from their source code so they can get it back. Or just if you want to like change an APK that's already existing or something, something like that. And today I'm going to be using Go Launcher X, um, which is the free application, and I'm just going to use that for the purposes of this demonstration. And you, first of all, you need to get four files. Um, there'll be a link in the description to get them from. Um, we have APK Tool, Dex to Jar, Framework Res APK, and GDGUI. And obviously you need the APK file that you're going to be working with. So to start with, um, just to make it easier, you need to make a new folder. And you want to make a copy of the APK file that you're going to work with. And just put it in the new folder. And then you want to e extract the rest of the files that you've downloaded. Just to make sure that you can get stuff out of the way early. And once they're all extracted, you can safely get rid of those files that you've extracted. The reason for doing this is just that with extracting stuff as you go along, it gets a bit messy and a bit complicated to keep track of. So, And now you should have something that looks slightly like similar to mine. And what you want to do first, very first step, is rename Go Launcher X, or in your case, your APK, um, to .apk.zip so make sure you keep .apk but put .zip on the end and press enter and then just press yes to change the extension and if you don't have the option to change the extension as I just did go to organize folder and search options view and then untick hide extensions for known file types and you should be able to do it and so once you've done that you want to click on it and just extract the folder that you just created so the zip file that you just renamed. Okay, so once that's extracted, you can delete the zip file you created just to keep stuff a bit cleaner. And then inside the folder you've extracted, you should see files like this. And you can see that it does look as though you've got like some of the source code, but as I said, you've pretty much just got the resources. So you know the pictures that are in it and stuff. Um, so for example, if I go into here, you'll be able to see the pictures that you used in the app and stuff like that. So that's not actually much use at this moment. So next step is go into your dex to jar folder, and then again because it extracts like that, and then you want to copy everything here and put it into the extracted folder like that so you've got a, a folder that combines dex to jar and the extracted apk and don't worry about this looking a bit too crazy because you don't actually need this folder you just need to make stuff a bit easier for yourself as you go along so at this point you want to open up a command line window inside the go launcher x apk folder now to do this you can hold shift and right click on the folder name and press open command window here. That only works if you're administrator I think. If you're not you'll have to open it by going to start and then just typing in cmd, opening command prompt and then just moving to the directory. You should probably know how to do that. So, And then all you have to do is type in dex to jar and then classes dot dex. Now what that does is if I just go into the folder, you can see classes.dex here and all it's doing is converting them to an executable jar file which you can see is happening underneath it and now it's finished. So at this point you can close your command window and you want to copy the .jar file that was created and just put it back into the directory you're working in. And once you've done that you can delete the .apk folder. And now you want to move the original APK that you copied back into your main whoops, 
you want to do that you can move it back into your main directory so new folder stays empty but leave it there and now what you want to do is go into J uh, JDGUI um, which is a Java D compiler which is what the JD stands for and just open it up and then navigate back to your new folder and you just want to drag in classes underscore dex to jar dot jar and make sure it's open properly so you can see what's inside and go to file and save all sources and just save it to where you're working and what you have here is if I just open it up you can see that you've got the Java files and this activities in the Java files and you know all that kind of thing so once it's there um, next step is to go into the folder you just like made the source folder and extract it And once it's extracted, what you want to do is just go inside it and just copy all the files in there and put them into your new folder. Because your new folder is going to be where you're going to keep the source for your application or your APK. So now that's in there. And now you can just delete the source folder as well as the zip file that it came in and also the executable Java file. and then obviously the Java decompiler as well and actually Dex to Jar as well right so now it just looks a bit cleaner and it's easier to focus on so next step is you want to copy the framework res apk into the apk tool folder so just move it and then move it again and then inside here you should see something like this and all you want to do is open a command window in it so do the same as earlier and you want to type in, let me just get there, apk tool space if space framework hyphen res. So the name of the APK, APK file that you just moved in. So apk tool if framework res.apk. And it installs the framework to your user space. And all you need to do now is just go back to your main. Um, folder without without closing command window and copy your apk f file into the apk tool folder and you want to type in apk tool d and then the name of your apk file or you can just drag in oops you can just drag in your apk file and press enter and you'll see a folder be created at the top of your screen or the top of the folder you're in and just wait for that to finish and there we go now inside there you'll see pretty much what you saw earlier um, in the other folder but you'll see that there's an extra couple of things so for example this folder blah blah blah, blah. and all you want to do there is copy the entire contents again back to your new folder and if you just move the files from before into wait no sorry don't forget that just delete the smiley folder um, because the reason for that is that you have com and moby here um, in this case anyway and in there you have the same thing but if you go actually into them you can see that they're smiley files and not actually java files whereas if we go to here you can see that they're actually in java so just erase that folder oh whoops sorry and then there you go that is your source code um obviously there's a little apk tool file here but everything else should be there you have the resources um the source code and just everything you need so 
that is the source code for Go Launcher X. Um, it should work on like every APK. Um, there's no reason why it shouldn't. And if you follow my instructions, it should work just fine. So there shouldn't be any problems. Um, it, as I said, it gets you back the Java as um, I've demonstrated by going into here, for example, Java file. And so you can then, you know, edit it or do whatever it is you want to it and then recompile it. And so apart from that, there isn't really much to say. Apart from subscribe to my channel if you want more stuff like this in future. Um, if you have any problems, um, just leave a comment in the description. I'll get back to you in the uh, comment section even. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. So, yeah, that's about it. That's all there is to say. Remember to subscribe, like the video, stuff like that. And apart from that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.